on Hell's Kitchen. Oh my god, it's Steve Vai. This guy's a legend. After an inspiring performance from a rock maestro, the chefs were tasked to compose their own masterpiece. I want the ahi. I'll take pork chops. Stay confident here. Yeah. While Joe went a little too far taste testing his own dish. Where's the fucking lobster? I tasted a piece. It's a cooking challenge, not a fucking eating challenge. Chad went a little overboard with black garlic on his crusted tuna. It's doused in black garlic. Somebody took a shit on his plate, is what it looked like. On the red team, strong performances by Jackie. Wow, point to the red team. And Ashley. Tuna's cooked beautifully. Thank you, Chef. Resulted in a dominating red team victory. Red team, congratulations. Yay! We kicked the blue team's ass. At dinner service, Danny's surprising anxiety on appetizers. I'm not comfortable with the okay. pizza. Had the red team losing faith in her. Danny, if you're not comfortable with all stations at this point in the competition, you don't have what it takes. But Kristen. Let's push these apps out, guys, and get ready to entrees. And Ariel. Watch these two sauces. Right, no this one is getting too hot. Kept it moving, and the red team had a respectable dinner service. Ariel. Yes, chef. Usually cooked New York strip. Service, please. In the blue kitchen. Two chicken VIP. Give me time. It's raw. I can't send it out yet. Amanda, suffering from a back injury, was overwhelmed on the meat station. I think you should take your apron off and go home. I want to do this. I know I can. You've got 10 minutes. But there was another major issue holding back the blue team. Two after char. How long? No answer. Chad and Jared's lack of communication. Eight dinner service, but you still can't communicate. The blue team lost and nominated Amanda and Jared. But Chef Ramsay decided to shake things up. Chad, step forward. You have lost your confidence. I'm hoping that you can find it in the red team. Giving Chad and Danny, you are going to the blue team. A chance to regain their confidence on new teams. Keeping everyone's chances alive of becoming the next head chef at BLT Steak in Bally's Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Now get out of here. Welcome. Oh, thank you guys. I thought I was going home. I was like, <gasps> I did not expect my name to come up for, you know, take your jacket off. I mean, wow, what, you know, what the hell, man? I don't know what to feel, or I'm just, I'm just in shock. I don't mind her not being on our team, let me put it that way. <laughs> it felt like there was always a conflict between everyone else and Danny. I think Chad and our team will work out very well. I look forward to it. Glad to have you on the team, bro. Thank you. We got Chad's angels. Yeah, we got Chad's angels now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, send it, yeah. send it, send it. Charlie. <laughs> this way? Hey. 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 Oh. Hey. Oh. Oh. I can see! Ah. Oh. Ah. Team. I look really good in blue. They oh, oh, oh. Oh. Yay, yeah. good, baby. Every day here in Hell's Kitchen is a surprise. And whatever it is, <laughs> you know, you just gotta be ready for it. Oh my god. I'm scared shows. You don't take a city bitch and throw her in a kitchen with a bison. I was shitting my pants. Oh my god, it's looking at me. I don't wanna go first anymore. Why am I in the front? I'm the one that has a handicap. I'm just gonna have to like use my crutches to catapult over it if it starts to charge. God. Morning. Morning, Morning chef. chef. I see you've already met my friend Jack. Morning, Jack. Jack's an American bison and probably the biggest 12-year-old you've ever seen. 
It's fucking huge. Native Americans and the first settlers hunted bison. Now, oh. Jack, please. Talk about hunting and he pees on my carpet. <laughs> it was like a waterfall of pee. Like six gallons of pee all over the floor. <laughs> At least it's a number one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Great. Put a diaper on that thing or something before you bring it in here. Mariano's going to have a fit now. For your next challenge, each of you will be cooking a cut of bison. Sorry, Jack. Now, when I say go, I want you to carefully walk by Jack, bolt outside, and stand behind the cut of bison that you want. Are we ready? Yes, yes chef. Well, let's go. Very carefully. Easy. Should I walk? Easy. I don't need a stampede. <gasps> oh, my god. We're going to die. <laughs> Get the out of here. When wild animals sense fear, they eat your fucking face. Oh, my god. I just saw the ground bison, and I ran right up to it. I didn't even look to see what else was there. Oh, word. Ugh, fuck. Bison ribeye, nice. I'm down with that. Frank and I get paired up. I'm feeling so confident. It's Frank. He's what is going to make a burger. No. Obviously, each of you will be cooking head to head. In my mind, I should beat Jackie at everything we do. Unless we're talking about smoking cigarettes, then Jackie's going to crush me. On the board, there are seven different flags that represent ingredients from each of their countries. Oh. Now, in a way similar to early Americans, you'll have to shoot for the rest of the ingredients using a bow and arrow. Yes! <laughs> the winner of the shootout will pick the ingredients that both of you will work with. Let's begin with the ground bison. Jackie and Jared, step up, please. Woo! Come on, Jackie! Let's go, Jared. Are we ready? I'm ready, chef. Right. Take aim. <laughs> that was bad. Jackie, come on. Ugh. Come on, Jared. Yes. Boom, done. Way closer than Jackie. Wasn't really worried about that. Take Italian. I know Jackie wanted Italian, so I was kind of strategizing a little bit, thinking what would she have the most trouble with. And I pick Spain. Wow, Spanish. Give one to Jackie. Nice. Ashley and Danny, let's go. Let's go, Ashley. Come on, Ashley. Come on, Danny. Come on, Danny. While Danny's shot yeah. <laughs> is just a bit outside, Ashley's Whee. Well done. hits closer to the mark. And you're selecting Thai. Oh, wow. Ooh. Asian food, my strength. OK, next up, Chad. Amanda, let's go. There you go. Oh, Here we go, Amanda. Let's go. Yes. We got this. Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Good job. Wow. Right. You can't beat that, Amanda. I don't know how to do this. Pull it straight back. Be confident with it. Wow. Yeah. Oh. 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 Good job. Oh. The little girl shows you up. Natural fucking archer right here. Oh. Italian. Well all done. Right, right. Good wow. shot. That's a good one. OK, next up, Ariel and Joe. Very carefully. Let's go. Joe got little arms. He ain't going to be able to pull it back that far. <laughs> Come on, Ariel. Oh. oh. Come on, Joe. You can do this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I got to redo on that one? Good job, Joe. Good job, Joe. <laughs> Ariel, pick your cuisine. Japanese. Nice. OK, let's go. Last up, Frank, Kristen, let's go. Frank, you got this all day. All day. Don't let the Marines down, Frank. No pressure. Hey. Hey. There you go. Come on, Kristen, you got this. Come on, Kristen. Have you shot one of these before? Uh, yeah. Like, da, 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 da. I'm channeling having Costner and Robin Hood right now. Totally got this. You got it, Kristen. Come on. Oh, oh my god. god. Whoops, whoops. Sorry, right, Kristen, don't worry about it. All right, Frank. I think I know where I'm going right now. Good, man. I think we're going with a little French. French. Wow. OK, it's time to cook. You'll all have 40 minutes, and your time starts now. Off you go. In today's challenge, the chefs have 40 minutes. Thanks, team. <laughs> to prepare a dish using only their cut of bison. I don't know how safe this is. 
and the ingredients from the country they chose. I know exactly what I'm doing. I feel extraordinarily confident in my dish. I'm doing a, a warm peanut noodle salad. My two dads have an Asian American restaurant, so I'm ready to nail this competition right in the bison butt. Is there a way to rehydrate seaweed? Anybody know how to rehydrate seaweed so it's pliable? Joe probably has two experiences with Asian culture. The massage parlor he goes to and the carry out he gets right after. Let me see, Joe. This is just nori. This is just for flavor. You can chiffon on this. You can eat it raw like that, but you, you're, you're not going to want to reconstitute it. Heard. Thank you. Thank you, Jared. 13 minutes to go. Jackie, what are you making? Um, I'm going to make a Spanish version cheeseburger. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Really, Jackie, a Spanish cheeseburger? Is that even a thing? What do you do it like? What's, what's going on there? What's going to make it Spanish? Um, I'm going to put sausage in it, sardines in it, saffron, paprika. You know what, guys? We need to help out Jack real quick. What about Al Al albondigas? Are the Spanish meatballs? Or that's what what, I, that's what I was meatballs. thinking, the Spanish meatballs. There you go. I've cooked Spanish food. I have never cooked food from Spain. I wish I would have got Italian. There's seven minutes to go. Third. Seven minutes, guys. You hear that? Danny, what are you making? I'm doing a coconut lemon grass broth. I want to do bison two ways, I believe, one in a roll and one with the sauce on the side. I know that, you know, everyone's looking at me to see whether or not I can hang with the blue team. Danny, you need help? You good? I'm good. You sure? I hope so. Five minutes to go, guys. Just under five, guys. Everybody ready Just to play? Five heard. Jackie, watch your meatballs. Yeah. Somebody have free hands real quick. 60 seconds to go. Come on. Who needs help? Who needs help? I do. Frank, what do you need? My sauce. Corner, corner. Frank, it's coming right now. Come on. Turn around. Five. A little more green. Four. Here it goes. Come behind. Three. Thank you. Two. One. And serve. Today, I'll be judging your dishes head to head. And obviously, the team with the most points wins. Let's start off with the flank steak. Let's go. Going down. Come on, Amanda. Let's go. I'm feeling confident. I have experience with Italian cuisine. Amanda, bring it on. Chad, describe the dish. I have the flank steak, did a Fiorentina style with the truffled cannellini beans and uh, blood orange gremolata. Mm -hmm. You've nailed the protein. Thanks, Chef. Uh, really well. Uh, it's delicious. Brilliant job. Thanks, Chef. Um, Manda, describe the dish, please. Um, I have for you a grilled flank steak with a papadel pasta with tomato cream sauce. Um, I don't get the garnish because you wouldn't really serve that kind of pasta with a red meat like that. Yeah. Point to the red team. Well done, Chef. Thanks, Chef. Yes. yes, Chad. Job, Chad. First challenge in the red team, and I'm bouncing back. Good job, Chad. Getting out of my slump. Next up, the ground bison, using Spanish ingredients. Come on, Jackie. Jackie. You got this ball. Wow, look at that. Uh, Jared, explain the dish, please. Chef, I gave you a bondegas that has chorizo, red wine, and kale. Uh, meatballs, beautifully done. Authentic. Thank you, Chef. Um, Jackie. Um, today, Chef, I have Spanish meatballs with a romesco, manchego. A little bit of parsley on top. Uh, meatballs dry. God. Such a shame. Point goes to Gerard. Congratulations. Well Thank done. Good job. Good job, Gerard. The top sirloin. Let's go. Come on, Kristen. Come on, Kristen. Come on, Frankie. With the score tied, Kristen's top sirloin au poivre. You've cooked it beautifully here. Gets a tray bon from the chef. Good job. But Frank's pan-seared top sirloin with roasted Brussels sprouts. Frank, bison's cooked beautifully. Thank you, chef. Also makes a good impression. Oh, it's a tough one. Um, Kristen, point to you. Frank, point to you as well. Good job, both of you. Thank you, Chef. Well done. Good job, Mr. Good job. Uh, welcome back, Frank. Thank you, Chef. Next up, one of my favorite cuts, the ribeye. Yeah, Joe. Come on, Ariel. Come on, Ariel. Ariel's Japanese ribeye with bok choy and noodle salad. Yeah, delicious. I mean, really delicious. Gets a very favorable critique. I mean, it's like being in a Japanese grill in Kyoto. Yes. And Joe's pan-seared ribeye with sautéed daikon radish. This is beautiful. Absolutely spot on. Thank you, Chef. Is also well received. Tough on this one. Point goes to both of you. Great job. Well Thank done. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Tied. 3-3. Three, three. Let's go. The battle of the fillets. Last pairing. Come on, Dan. You got this, Dan. Come on, Ashley. I'm happy to drive the blue team to victory. It's a red team. Definitely better watch out. Uh, Danny, describe dish. I have for you grilled bison, and then you have bison spring rolls. Bison's cooked beautifully. Thank really you, good Chef. job indeed. Uh, Ashley, describe the dish, please. What I have for you is a shrimp pad thai. Why pad thai? I don't associate pad thai with a fillet. I was trying to take a little bit of a risk. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like the mm -hmm. sauce is good with the bison itself. 
uh, beautifully conceptualised. We actually think that I'm back in Bangkok. Really delicious. Um, it's a tough one. Uh, two unique dishes. Very hard indeed. The point goes to both of you. Well done. Thank you. Seriously, well done. Back in line. I shall. You know, Danny. Tight. I'm going to give it to the best dish, uh, the dish that nailed everything. Oh, this is hard. Really hard. Congratulations. Chad, well done. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes. This is my bounce back. I'm getting back in the saddle. This is a great way to show the red team. I'm here, I mean business, and I'm ready to work with you guys. You had the right garnish with the right cut. That's why I like to see that level of intuition coming into play. Good job. Chef. Chef. This sucks. Red team, congratulations. Well done. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. You're in for a big treat. You're going to meet some Hollywood actors. Oh, yeah, oh. How many of you have seen a Hangover? Oh. <laughs> if it's Bradley Cooper, I'm gonna shit. How many of you seen We Bought a Zoo? Yes, I yes. did. These are just a few of the films these actors have appeared in. Shut You're all heading to meet. <laughs> I'll get a beer with B Coops and Matt Damon. You're all heading to meet Hollywood animals. Oh. These are special animal actors. You're gonna feed. Tigers. Oh my god, I'm not doing that. That's not a reward, that's a fucking death sentence. Oh, there's one more thing. All of you are getting your very own top of the line Vitamix Blenders. Well done. Yes. There we are. That's a brand new Vitamix. Are you kidding me? Best trophy ever. Uh, red team to the dorm. Congratulations. Thank well done, Chad. Chef. Chad, what an impact. Good job. Thanks, Chef. Blue team, I decided to give the bakers a day off. So, I want all the bread beautifully baked. You start off with grinding the wheat by hand. And what is fresh bread without hand-made butter? The old-fashioned way. Your freshly baked bread is going to go with tonight's very special service. It's going to be cowboy steak night. If that's not enough, there's quite a large, potent stench coming from the bison's peat, so the carpet needs uh, shampooing. Thanks a lot, bison jack. Stupid bison. <laughs> Filthy animal. Exactly. It's degrading. You know, cleaning up buffalo pee. I feel like a fucking private. <laughs> huh? What's that smell? Have fun, guys. Jack, you missed a spot. Have fun cleaning up that bison pee. Woo! Uh, yeah, see you later. I'll save a spot for you to clean when you get back. <laughs> Sucks. Does anybody have a tranquilizer gun ready? Oh, jeez. Welcome to Hollywood Animals. This is crazy. We'll meet some exotic animals. Come on my way. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is so crazy. We'll come over here in our little safe zone. I get to pet a tiger. This is so exciting. Annika is a year and four month old mix Siberian Bengal tiger. I don't fucking relax. She's about 175 pounds. So who wants to go first? I do. OK. Good luck. I mean, who doesn't want to play with a tiger, right? So use uh, your meat uh, up uh, there. Uh, now yeah. pull your meat back. There you go. Oh Claws are like, I know. Now go ahead and pay her. Good girl. Nice. Honestly, if you're scared, I wouldn't suggest doing that. Why? Because <laughs> it's a fucking tiger. <laughs> Oh. Can you chill out? I'm chill. Yes. No, you're not. I am, like, deathly afraid of animals. Does she get nervous when people are really scared of her? Uh, no, she gets excited. OK. Yeah, she's like, someone might be nervous. I can capitalize on this. Oh. OK. I've never been this scared in my life. Like, I've had people pull guns out on me, like, in my face. And I was not even nowhere near as scared as I am right now. Now tell her, sit. 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 OK, it's just a tiger, don't worry. Yeah. This is how white people die all the time. And yeah, that was me today. I was the dumb white bitch fucking feeding a tiger with a stick. Nice, long, firm strokes. While Jackie is still deciding whether she is enjoying her reward, back in Hell's Kitchen, the blue team is busy churning out their punishment. I'm sweating profusely. My ceramic broke into the butter. What the fuck? All right, switch to the other one. 
My mother always said I have the Midas touch, but uh, instead of everything turning to gold, it turns to shit. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! What? Another piece of the fucking ceramic chipped off. I wasn't even doing it that hard. <laughs> So this is Bam Bam. He's a 14-year-old grizzly bear. Can you say hi? Oh, my God. Yeah, he's like the coolest bear ever. You guys ready to give him a kiss? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. OK. And walk up to Chris. He's going to hand you a treat. You're going to put it in your lips, not your mouth. Just right your lip. And you're going to walk right up no. to him, let him take it, and step back out. First base. I heard 80s music. I leaned in, he leaned in. This is the best bear kiss I've ever had. Yeah. Pretty sure like every kiss from now on is gonna have to involve marshmallows. After a unique, rewarding day of petting tigers and kissing bears, the red team. Wedge salad Wedge down. Salad, bada bing. And then bada bing. And the blue team are prepping Chef Ramsay's special menu for cowboy steak night. King crab cocktail, wedge salad straightforward. Yeah. Tomahawk, porterhouse, Wellington. We got a whole new menu, baby. This night should honestly go super smooth. Our menu is actually smaller. Ranchers aren't even really picky people, right? Like, they just want their steak and they're fucking mac and cheese. Red team, line up, please. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Quick. Blue team, line up, please. Quickly. Tonight's steak night. It's a big night, OK? Think about it this way. This year's winner is going to become the head chef of BLT Steak at Valleys in Vegas. Show me that you belong at BLT. Clear? Yes, yes chef. Let's go. If there's ever one night in Hell's Kitchen to perform, tonight's the night. Right. Where the fuck's Mourinho? Oh, you are kidding me. What in the fuck is he doing? How the chef? Oh, my God. Giddy up on Open Hell's Kitchen. Mourinho, please. Yeah! It's cowboy steak night in Hell's Kitchen. And as hungry herds of customers fill up the dining room. Uh, the scallop. Chef Ramsay has rounded up some classic steaks for tonight's menu, along with a wedge salad, crab cakes, and a king crab cocktail. This is the order for Stacy Dash. The Stacey actress. Dash, thank, thank you. you. Uh, VIP, watch this table. Stacy Dash, yes, actress. Four covers table 32, two crab cakes, two scallops. Yes, yes, yes chef. chef. How are you? I'm just dropping the scallops, baby. Okay. I'm a little worried to have Chad on the red team. We just found our flow during service, and we need Chad to be on the same page with us. Chef, I'm walking the scallops to the past you right now, Chef. Walking crab cakes. Hot, hot, hot. Right behind you, Chef. Nice. Service, please. With a confident start by Ariel and Chad on appetizers, food is already being delivered to red diners. And Chef Ramsay is ready with the blue team's first ticket. Here we go, blue team. Let's go. Four covers table 22. Two scallops, two crab cake. Oh, Jared. Jared. Yes, Jared. Let's go. Crab cakes, how long? Three minutes out. Excellent. Good. Can I drop these scallops down, Jared? Danny, no more can I. Just say it. All right? Demand it. As a boxer, I don't see anyone as intimidation. I don't care if they're men. I need to be on top of everything and control my station tonight. Uh, that's yeah, that's perfect. I'm actually completely good right now. You're good? Yep. They look good. Thank you. Danny, crab cakes in the window. Scallops, move. Yes, chef. Scallops walking. Hurry up. Right behind. Service, please. Table one, yes? Hey. First time. Yeah. First time, <laughs> no, all right? No, we're going to make it happen. On order. VIP, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Professional volleyball player. Watch this table, yeah. please. Four covers, table 41. Two scallops, two crab cocktail. Oh, yes, chef. chef. Let's go. While the blue team is successfully delivering appetizers to their happy diners. Great. Very good. How is everything here so far? There is one table in the red dining room. Mine are a little bit salty. That is less than happy with their appetizers. Madame, is a little undercooked for you? Yeah. yeah. OK. Thank you. Chef, Stacy Dash, too salty. Both of them undercooked. Oh, man. 
Red team, scallops, back. Stacey Dash, who cooked these? I cooked them, chef. Fucking hell, man. I need a solid minute for the resire on the scallops, chef. While Ariel starts over on the scallops, oh, back on the blue side. Danny, scallops, how long? Got two scallops, 30 seconds to the window. A steady flow of appetizers is leaving the kitchen. Walking, crab cocktail, chef. Five. Right behind. Good, service please. You know, usually I can't stand working with women, but having Danny on the team is great. As the blue team continues to satisfy their diners. That's delicious. Very good. In the red kitchen. How you doing, Ariel? Good, these scallops are fucking perfect. Ariel is ready with her refire on their VIP table. I'm walking the scallops to the past you right now, chef. When you get yelled at for messing something up in the kitchen, the only thing that there's time for is to correct the mistake and get the food out. Right behind, right behind, right behind. Oh, fuck me. Red team, come here. Refired. Stacy Dash. Yes, sir. Now they're overcooked. I've never seen such a fucking embarrassment. Start again. Errol, what do you got? First scallops, two minutes? Yo, I'm free firing the scallops. They suck. Chris, it. flip them. I don't have time to flip them. I'm doing your garnish. You're fucking kidding me, bro. You need to hold on to the spatula, get these scallops out of the pan, and walk your happy ass to the fucking pass. Scallops, where are they? Ah, oh, fuck me. They're all stuck to the pan. Scallops, now. And I mean now. Yes, yeah, chef, I'm refiring all of the scallops. Now it's beyond a joke. That is fucking it. Red team, come here. This, to me, is basic shit. Can someone get on the fish station and fucking help you now? Heard. Let's go. Somebody get over there. I'll take all the hot apps. At the rate Ariel is going through scallops, they might go extinct. Make sure it's quality. We're not refiring any more tickets. No. Got it. Walk it with scallops. Now, come on, then. Hurry up. Yeah, chef. Service, please, John. Thanks to Jackie, the fish station has recovered. Ladies, yeah. how are we doing? Better. Yes? Much better. Perfect. In the blue kitchen. Walking with Char, right behind hot. Danny on fish and Frank on meat. I'm, I'm walking Wellington's right now. Are relying on Joe to deliver on garnish. Mash! Hey, chef, coming, chef. 10 seconds. Why is he tossing the mash? Walking mash. What, 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 what is that? It's not, we've got dark stuff, white stuff, creamy stuff, bits that aren't mixed. You don't start tossing it, flipping like a fucking pancake. Are you kidding me? Why the fuck is he helping you? It's just fucking mashed potatoes. Hey, that was really difficult, that. After a short delay from Joe and his mashed potatoes. You got your side, yeah? Go, please. The blue team is ready to move on to their next ticket. Entree to ribeye to Arctic char. Yes, yes chef. chef. Behind, behind, behind. Meanwhile, yeah, back in the red kitchen. Scallops to the pass, chef, on your right. Ariel seems to be back in control, and appetizers are now flying out of the kitchen. Service, please, go. And the red team is ready to fire their first entrees. Entree, two ahi tuna, two ribeye. Yes, chef. Right. chef. Jackie, you have a second. Can you come wash this tuna for me? Yeah. Ariel thinks that I have secret powers. I have fire hands. And now I'm just going to be like, and fucking cook everything. Wash that, Jackie. I got it, I got it. Don't worry about it. Make sure I don't overcook. They're still cold in the middle. How long on those two tuna? One minute. Don't leave that in there too long now. Ahi tuna, ribeye. Walking with two ribeye. Two tuna walking. Heard. Right behind, Chef. All right, next. Hey, Red Team, no, not next. Come here, all of you. What is happening here? The ribeye looks like it's boiled. Apart from that, it's raw. And we're going from one extreme to the other, because I've got fucking burnt tuna. Jackie, what the fuck is that, bro? If you can't figure out what the fuck you're supposed to do, with, you're not helping me. Go back to your station. Just tell me how we can fuck something so simple up. Refire, two ribeye, two eye tuna. Just hurry up, let's go. While the red team starts over on their first entrees. Walking to the window with uh, ribeye. Over in the blue kitchen, Frank on meat and Danny on fish. Char. Are delivering their second order of entrees. Fries, please. More fries? Yeah, more fries. And once again, are waiting on Joe. Fries are one minute out. Fries are one minute out. Fucking hell. 
Hey, come here. What's going? <coughs> um, I'm, I'm doing my best, Chef. No. I'm trying to bounce back. What is going? Um, because well, I don't mind you bouncing back, but I need you bouncing back knowing what the fuck you're doing. Two Wellingtons, two Chars coming up. No. No. Two ribeye, two Arctic Char. Two ribeye, two Char, I heard, Chef. Two ribeye, two Char, I heard, Chef. Hurry up! All right, man. I'm doing the best I can. You want the shit fast? I'm trying to give. I'm trying to give it to you fast. Ribeye going cold. I think the best thing I can do is just grab the bootstraps, fucking lace them up, because I'll be fucking goddamn if I let it get to the point where I'm sending up undercooked French fries. 15 seconds, chef. Fries. Come on, bounce back, bounce back, bounce back. Let's go. Walking with garnish, chef. Walking with garnish. All right. Oh my god. Can someone tell Joe what's wrong with these fries? Hey, look. Not even drained. And look at the grease. This is really happening right now. And you're eating. That makes me even more angry. Look at the grease. Look at the grease. Hey, nothing is coming out. Nothing. I don't care what bullshit excuse, nothing's coming out. OK? All right, chef, I got it. Thank you. Joe, what do you need a hand with? He needs a hand with his confidence. I got it. I got it. Garnish is one minute out, Chef. While Joe and the blue team start over on their order, back in the red kitchen. Two ribeye, two eye tuna. I'm running it now. Ariel and Ashley are ready with their second attempt on their first entree. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, all of you. Fucking hell, man, this is rough. This is rough. It's the same mistake again, it's just raw. This ship is sinking right now, and you've got no paddles, you've got a hole in the boat, and no bucket to get the water out. And it's just white fat, fucking raw. Enough's enough, I I'm done altogether. Fuck off, get out. Get out. What the fuck happened? What the, I why know, did, what did, the why fuck happened? Just, why, did, why did everyone stop from fuck? Meanwhile, that's in the blue kitchen. Yeah, that's right beautiful. Good job. Let's go. One minute out on that ribeye. One minute out. Heard, heard. It's all hands on deck to help Joe navigate the garnish station. There are four individuals on the garnish. This is just bananas. But we have to do something to save this station, because if we don't, we're getting kicked out of the kitchen. Where's the garnish for the ribeye? In my hand, chef. Garnish for two ribeyes. Heard, Walk char. Walk into the window with ribeye. Go, please. Finally, patient patrons are receiving their food. Cool, guys, keep it up. Cool work. You guys keep pushing. All right. Jared. Thanks for your help, Jared. Keep pushing, buddy. And the blue team is fast approaching the finish line. Jared, can I walk with the rest of the other two uh, yeah, garnishes? I, Joe, they're coming out right now. Heard. Walking up garnishes. I want you to go Wally first, and then I'll follow with Char. Heard. Wellington walking to the pass right now. Garnish walking. Service, please, go. Thank you. Oh, God, I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> Clear down. Thanks, Jared. That was a total, that was the worst service we've ever had. I don't know what the fuck happened. Yeah. Where was the major breakdown in service? The meat and the fish is supposed to push, especially on a night like this where we're so heavy on meat and fish. Okay, Ariel and Ashley. Yeah, I'm voting for them too because service fucking sucked. Meat, the hardest part was just making the steak perfect. Yeah, you weren't searing them correctly. I know how to cook a fucking steak, dude. But you didn't do it today. Meat and fish fucked up, and that's it. Yeah, meat and fish. I am telling you, I am not the weakest person on this team. Absolutely yeah. fucking not. Well, who do you think the team's strong without? I can promise you it's not myself and Ariel. We are definitely two of the strongest people here. Yeah, but if those two stations would've went okay, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have fucking got kicked out of the kitchen. This is a first dinner service I've struggled at all, and the burnt tuna was not me. OK, well, I didn't do nothing wrong. Like, a big part is when you come to help people, you have to actually be able to help them. Jackie's not a strong enough person to come into a station and help. Like, if you're going to come into a station and help, you need to hold down that station. Ariel, what do you think? Two weakest people on the team. I'd say Ashley and Jackie. Ashley and Jackie. You'd say me? Yes, Jack. I would say you. Ashley, who do you think are the two weakest people on the team right now? Those two. Uh, Kristen. Oh, Jackie and Ariel. Ashley is a stronger cook than you. 
She's not a stronger she cook than me. She brings a little bit more to the table than you. So you really think she's more creative than me? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. She's not. Everything I cooked today was fucking perfect. And then I try to fucking help everybody, and then they want to throw me in. I mean, come the fuck on. It's baffling to me that my name would even be mentioned. What are you voting for? Based on this service, I would say Jackie. Why are you voting for me? Who do you want me to vote for? Them two, they fucked up service and made us lose. I fucking kill it in service every fucking goddamn time. When you are in service, you shine as a cook. Challenges is where you shine as a chef. We cannot carry you through challenges, bro. I've only been cooking for three months. Wait a minute, what? Jackie's only been cooking for three months? Everyone else has been cooking forever. We deserve this, and obviously, Jackie doesn't. But that means you're not ready for BLT. I got fucking oh, seven years. Oh, yeah, I'm I got, ready for BLT. I got seven years on you and six months. I've worked way less anywhere than all these people, and I can fucking successfully do every station, and nobody else can. How am I going up? I mean, that's completely ridiculous. You know what? Fuck all of them, really. I just hate it that we can't choke people here. Unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. That was terrible. Red team, have you reached a consensus? Yes, yes, chef. yes chef. Good. Jackie, Red team's first nominee and why? My first nominee is Ariel. The fish station completely collapsed. The scallops, everything was just bad. Uh, Red team's second nominee and why? Um, they, they voted for me. They voted for you? Yes. Why? I, I really don't know. I, I believe it should have been Ashley. Because if I was on either one of those stations, I would have ran it way better. We chose Jackie Chef because of her lack of progress. It doesn't help us to have to be creative for her. We have to carry her most of the way, Chef. That's not true, Chef. What a mess. Jackie, Ariel, step forward. Ariel, let's be honest. Your worst performance. Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I think I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I'm passionate, I'm intuitive, I'm strong, I'm decisive, and I'm a leader. I don't think one service should dictate me leaving Hell's Kitchen. You struggled. Big time. Very disappointing. Very, right, Chef. Very. Jackie. Yes, yeah, Chef. Why do you deserve to stay in Hell's Kitchen? I could cook a scallop, I could sear a steak. I'm a natural born leader. I mean, I know I could run BLT. I shouldn't even be up here, Chef. It was meat and fish that died today. The person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Joe. Give me your jacket. Joe, unfortunately, you are not ready to be the next head chef at BLT. Service after service after service, I'm not seeing any change. Yes, Chef. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity, Chef. It was a pleasure. Hell's Kitchen was much more grueling than I could have ever imagined. It's easy to be an armchair quarterback when you're sitting at home watching it going, yeah, I can make a risotto. It's a much different story when you're in a line of fire with Chef Ramsay up your rear end. If, if some butts were candies and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. And uh, I'm the one out here right now, so I'm the one that's got to take it on the chin. Ariel, Jackie. Yes, yeah, Chef. Back in line. Thank you, Chef. Thank you, Chef. The field has been cut in half. Now is the time to get your shit together. Is that clear? Yes, yeah, Chef. Now fuck off out of here. This is crazy. All the fat has been trimmed, and strong people are about to be going home. I'm upset with myself that I have my worst service ever. I just have to work as hard as I know that I can work and just every day keep pushing myself further. Holy shit. 
Do I think I'm the weakest on my team? No. In service, I kill it every time. I'm so pissed I can't even tell you what I want to do. I'll get arrested for even saying it. Joe had an amazing taste profile and was a standout in challenges. Unfortunately for him, dinner services were just out of his reach. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. After 14 seasons of epic battles. You don't have the balls to take over. Shut the fuck up! Listen to me! You better get out of my face, huh? Idiot! God! You are not going to believe what is coming next. Put your hands on me. Jackie! You witnessed Elise versus Carrie. You better yeah. get out of my face! You were shocked by Millie versus Brendan. You can't even punt! Millie. And you were amazed by Joe Shit versus Chef Ramsay. Let's go step outside. You ain't nothing but a bitch. But it's time to get ready. Give me your lighter. Ooh, you're disgusting as a bitch. For an all-out war between Chris. Get the fuck out of my face! What? And... What are you gonna do about it? Jackie. Get out of my Put face! Put your hands on me. <gasps> no. No, bitch. Crazy. Deranged. Next time on Hell's Kitchen.